Hello friends, welcome to my channel Fusion Next Gen Learning. In today's demonstration, we are going to cover one more business requirement. How to create journal line description, how to customize in SLA so that while importing the accounting entries into GL, line description will pick up custom one. So today is our first session. To create the description rule, you have to go to the setup and maintenance. Within the setup and maintenance, what you have to do? You have to go to the manufacturing and supply chain materials management. So same way you can go into other modules, you can configure your SLA journal line description rules as well. The same way you have to follow. Now after that, I will pick the cost accounting. And within the cost accounting, if I go to the and select the all task, right? After that, what will happen? We have option called manage description rules. That is the task name. So I have to click. And then we have to use this subledger application setup. I will click on apply and go. Now, which one you want, you can select your application. And accordingly, you can configure. So I would like to go and customize and create a couple of journal line description rules in the cost management area. You have to note one important point while defining the description rule, you face the challenges where you define the rule, the elements or the attribute but after defining or creating the rules, it won't be appear for the selection against the journal line description rule. It is happening because of that particular source is not available for that event. So make sure whenever you are creating the journal line rules, all those attributes available within that event as a source, then only you can select and it will be appear for you to select. Now to create, you have to click on plus. Once the moment you click on plus, you have to type the name. What will be your description rule name? So you can create based on your event, based on your transaction nature and based on your requirement, you can customize it. So I will create fusion test. And then I will put fusion test as a short code. Now you can enter your description. You can see that currently I'm defining description rules within the subledger application called cost management. Same way you can define into payable side, receivable side. You can achieve your requirement. Now the status is active. After that, you have to click on the rules. So once the moment you click on the rules, system will prompt insert the sources. So if you click on the source, you have options available. You want that description to be based on the subledger application or the type or the name or the event class. Based on your requirement, you can select. So I am selecting the name. Generally, if you select the name, it will prompt all the attributes available at the header or the line label for you to use. So now within the name, I am just typing item. So what I want, I want while importing the material transactions or the miscellaneous issue transaction rather than the seeded description imported general lines system show the item number as well as the description for that particular transaction so that I can correlate and do my analysis based on that. So it will be very useful feature in the fusion you can use. So now I typed as an item so you can use you can see that all those attributes are available. So I will choose first the item number. Now you have to make sure about the subledger application. So currently we are 
within the cost management and we want related to all cost accounting source the particular rule has to be applied so you have to make sure what rule within that if you are using the receipt accounting you have to choose the receipt accounting if you are using that particular rule for the cost accounting you have to use the cost management so i selected the cost management item number so i entered the item number now before that if you are selecting just like a source it will just populate the item number but you don't know whether it is item number or or what is it you can add the aliases for that so i am adding item number you can type then you can put the column so as per your need you can use how you want that to be captured so i entered item number after that i want for that the item number and the description to be captured so item number we have already selected now after that i will put comma and if you want further in text that also you can select like i want you know test so you can test as a free text system will accept now after that comma and then i am entering item description and after that i am entering and selecting the source called item description so i will choose the item description so item description is available within the cost management as well as the receipt so currently i am configuring for the cost accounting so i will choose the cost management and i will click on okay so you can see that item description copied you can select whatever the source available for the cost management you can choose all those values and after that you have to simply click on save and close once the moment you done at the bottom you have option called the condition so you can put the condition also over here that this particular description will be flow on what basis for that particular views for that particular inventory organization or what is the condition you would like to trigger based on your business requirement you can see that there is a priority also so within the rule you can create multiple description rule you can provide them as a condition and you can set the priority also so that the first priority the first description will be picked up then the second priority and the third priority that's how you can create also and you can provide the condition once the moment you done with this after that you have to click on save and save and close now you can see that we have created one journal line description rule called fusion test same way you can create multiple rule you can create based on your business need and you have to make sure that particular rule will be in active status once you done with this you are done with the custom journal line description rule once you done with this configuration you are done with the description rule so you have customized your description rule now in the next session we will learn how to associate the description rule to our event class and how to activate it thank you thank you for watching my channel fusion next gen learning keep subscribing keep watching happy learning